Hi everyone. This is basically my last project. Uh, I don't know when I will be able to continue. So, yeah. This is a, as you can see, a display inside a switch dock. And the idea is that this display is not a 1080p, but is actually a 1440p display. It is a 6 inch, and you need stuff to make it work. This is the original Switch motherboard dock. where you know where you plug the HDMI, USB 3.0 port and Type-C connector. I've made a Type-C on the top. And uh, to make this display work, well, how can I say? you take the 1080p output from the dock and you use an M Classic it can upscale it to 1440p into this red board red board this is a landscape HDMI landscape MEP board for 1440p display and for the LS060R1SX01 so this is a 6 inch display And um, you actually need it because the display is in portrait mode and you need to have the resolution, the output, in landscape mode. So this board allows you to rotate. So M Classic upscale, red board, rotate the screen. And then you have an adaptator for this big MIPI white connector to a Lego type MIPI Lego type uh, phone display, a Lego type connector, you know, that clips. All right. So very simple. The power is on the top. The display power is on. You can power it off. It's like a, an external monitor. I also put a fan. But the fan is working all the time. Maybe you can hear it when I'm plugging the USB-C cable. So this is the original uh, Nintendo charger, 15 volt. And I take the 15 volt into a buck converter buck converter to convert it in 12 volts for the red board and I took 5 volts from the red board for the fan. Maybe it would be better to take 5 volts from the USB port of the motherboard 
from the switch. But because I broke the system, the USB port are always in 5 volt mode, so it's the same as soldering it to the red board, soldering to 5 volt from the red board. So fan is spinning, it fits barely. The board is actually not straight, as you can see, it is not straight. but it fits USB port are still on the side alright and um, yeah I've done some other things too but. It says it's charging, obviously, because it is the Type C from the from N Nintendo. So when you power on the console, it will display. All right. So the M Classic is working. But as you can see, there is no 5 volt um, micro USB. There is an adaptator that plugs into it here and it brings 5 volts to this trace and it makes the M Class Inc. Uh, it, it turn it on and uh, make it work but as you can see I didn't need it because they engineered it fairly well and you actually I, I looked on Wikipedia to try to find at which voltage HDMI is working and it turns out it also works with 5 volts. So what I did is I took from the last pin I, I watched from the last pin over here where the 5 volt was going and you, as you can see there is a trace that goes down into this resistor. But originally there is no resistor so I added one and this way the M Classic is powered from the HDMI port and is working fine thanks to Nintendo from giving enough power to power the M, the M Classic so I turn console back on M Classic turning on and we do get a display output alright so it is very bright sure I will be able to show you everything all right so as you can see the display is actually not centered it's less it is slightly slightly on the left but I've cut the whole I've cut the whole right you know but here the display isn't uh, isn't starting from the far right it is actually very hot the the the, the cable the, the display here 
there is lots of traces and it runs very very hot all right so down there the light is on so I'm I know it is coming all right 1440p 60 Hertz let's go so the The this this landscape board does actually everything as a display would. So you have a menu, and you can choose lots of things. And I will try to put the brightness down. All right. See so the. Otherwise, you don't see shit. It's too bright. This display we get very bright. Backlight. All right, brightness. Okay. So it isn't perfect. It is good. But it is a little bit blurry, and I don't really know why. Maybe my HDMI cable isn't very well shielded. That could be something. It isn't very sharp. Or maybe it's the landscape board that rotates the display. And... Where can I rotate the display and makes it not sharp? Display rotate. All right, and here you can choose, but I cannot know. See, so without a landscape board, this is what you are going to see because this display is in portrait mode. So you need to rotate the the output, the video output. And I also rotated the OSD on screen display. Alright. So even on sharpness four, 